Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I have got uh, good responses and I have got bad responses. Uh, they're all throughout the comment section. You, you can read some for yourself. Um, I, I hear that the SS5 is going well to some degree, except for in particular states like Virginia. Again, what we call states are actually individual countries. We're just told that, be, that they're individual states, that there is some form of unity. But this is why each state has different laws and different laws are passed in each quote unquote state. And same thing that happens in quote unquote different countries. Um, but th this is irrelevant at that point. Uh, I do hear there's a lot of resistance with the SF181. Uh, so all you do is you go to Google, you type in SF181. If you have a printer, you print it out. If you do not have a printer, you fill it out. Uh, last name. Uh, you fill it out. Your social security number and your month and your year. Scroll down. If you are Hispanic, if you have Spanish blood uh, in you, you mark that. If you're Latino, if you have Portuguese blood in you, you mark that. Uh, your location when filling this out, irrelevant. Uh, if you're a person that Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, South America, or Central American, or other Spanish culture, regardless of race, and hit yes. I'm gonna go further down. We are teaching that the people that have been laid labeled uh, Negro, which is Hispanic or Spanish for the term black are actually American Indians and actual Native Alaska Natives. If you go into the book, uh, latest America, the latest greatest uh, description of the new world, it explains that there are people in Alaska at the time, black is coal. All right. Now, this is a person, American Indian, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America. Now remember, Montezuma, when they drew his picture and they had this Fine, fine author, same author of the book, America Being the Latest Greatest uh, Description of the New World. Uh, these are the images that he drew for uh, the king of the Aztecs in Central America. Uh, here's a nice color picture. And it says, Mutexuma, Rex Ulamis uh, see if I can just make the page bigger. Just little distortions coming in now. Let's see if we can find it again. Well, that just messes up the whole project, doesn't it? Oh, there it was. Still can't say it. A Mexum or something? Or, or Mexic, Mexicanorum. Okay. So if this is the original image of the Mexicanorum, okay, then the Mexican is, is different than the Mexicanorum, as we can clearly see. So if Montezuma looked like your dad, uh, and my Montezuma, this image kind of looks like my dad. Um, and uh, obviously, you are some sort of quote unquote, as they term it, uh, 
original Mexican or, you know, because um, Mexican culture Mexican culture doesn't want blacks in public. Uh, that doesn't mean uh, mean I think that all black people are loud, obnoxious, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, see what I can find on here. Blacks and Blacks in Mexico seek uh, government recognition. A forgotten minority. Now, what is that? Does that remind you of the term marginalized when we look up the word Afro-Asian? Now many blacks want to fight back by improving the shoddy education and read the story about indigenous mother who might lose her child because she doesn't speak English. Okay. Afro-Mexican culture expert acknowledges that blacks are, okay, Mexico's hidden black history, the black history of the Americas, goes well beyond the borders of the uh, United States, even very Mexican question, uh, only part because Mexican culture census doesn't ask the question. All right, so there, there are things that go on in Mexico that we don't understand because we don't necessarily, I can't play a video. So, um, so if you dig into it, you know, why you're not recording for everybody else, you can see that uh, blacks in Mexico or Negroes in Mexico or dark skinned people uh, that are Afro Asian in Mexico uh, are, are pushed out of the public uh, like they're actually pushed out of the major cities. Um, the only blacks that are in most of the major cities are tourists, but uh, go on a vacation, see it for yourself. All right, so again, American Indian, a person uh, having the uh, origins and, and the original peoples. Again, when you go into Deuteronomy 32 and Deuteronomy 34, it gives you places and locations like Mount Nebo and the Moab Desert. This is, again, the place where Sodom and Gomorrah would have been around and, and the other three cities that were destroyed thousands of years ago. And I'm not talking 30,000 years ago. You know I'm talking within 3,000 range. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit American Indian. Again, you're not going to hit this because it's a person having origins in racial groups, not original peoples. And that's the word magic that's being played on you there. Now, anybody can tell you whatever they want. God gave everybody lips. So... Just let that be. Now, if you feel that you need to mark any of these other ones, that's between you and the government. Because, again, this has to deal with self-identification. And in, in order to work out the kinks that, are, uh, that have been put on us, you know, we're going to have to deal with this to be able to rectify the situations uh, that have happened to our forefathers. This is not truly about us. We, some of us need to take ourselves out of the situation. Now, again, I understand when you go, you are receiving a lot of pushback, especially from, quote, unquote, black people. Proud black people, too. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this out. And again, this is all you need. These, bo these three boxes at, at the top, whatever box is on the bottom you feel you need, and then we're going to send it to the Office of Personal Management. And you know what we're going to do? We're all going to send it at once. Now, today... Mm, is the 12th. Now, this is one sheet of paper, will fit in simple envelope. 
it costs you less than a dollar to send uh, stamps or what, 40 to 60 cents, I'm not sure. Now, anybody watching can sit there, put this on screen, right click on it, open up Google, and paste it in the search engine and hit enter. Now, Office of Personal Management. Now, you just take that other part off and hit that. And it says Office O, Personal P, M. And you just open that one. Now, there's the contact stuff right there, and there's the address. We don't really even need to open it up, but we're just going to open it up so nobody says, where is the address? Because that's really going to piss me off that somebody has the exact same capabilities as me and then come and ask me questions about another in building. Now, all we're going to do is find contact us. There it is. About. And there's contact us. We're going to click that. Mailing address. And you're going to copy those four lines. And you know, you can always put USOPM. Just like you had right there. OPM.gov. So USOPM 1900 E Street Northwest, I think we passed that when we were walking around Washington. East Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 2415-1000. Now, nobody should ask me where the fucking address is. So here's what you're going to do. Everybody that got turned down for the SF-181, I'm going to send as well. I was not turned down for the SF-181, but I'm going to do it too. Now, all these people are going to fill this out, put it in an envelope, get your stamp, or, or, or just take your dollar to the post office, throw the address on there, and we're all going to mail it on the same day. Now, if we mail it, if everybody mails it on the 29th, now we'd love it to get there on the 1st, but the 1st is a Saturday. So, if everybody mails it on the 29th, it should all be sitting on their desk on the 3rd. One big stack of envelopes of what? Quote unquote African Americans, blacks, that are now self identifying as American Indians. Now, what better way to pay them back for turning you down in your own state? Flood their mail. Anybody disagree, don't mail it. But for the rest of you, flood their mail. Get their attention.